Bartender, make that a tall milk. Something wrong with the milk, stranger? <laughs> Did that come from a cow? Yeah, and it's been like that ever since they came to town. They think you can put hay up just any old way, and the cows will make good milk from it. Well, here. Try some of my milk. Bartender, draw us two, and use my milk. What makes the difference? Well, you can get a hint from the machinery your friends got parked out there. Say, mister, being a stranger in town and everything, you'd better be able to back up them words. Well, I'd be glad to. As I said, miss, the secret's in the machinery. You see, the cows that gave this milk have been fed a very special kind of hay, Hestonized hay, hay that was cut and conditioned in windrowed with a Heston windrower. Oh, I see. Was there anything wrong, miss? Oh, times are bad here in Bad Milk. People can't afford that fancy equipment. Well, that's all the more reason to switch to Hestonized hay. You see, with a Heston wind roar, only one machine is required, where the old-fashioned method required three. With a wind roar, well, you cut initial investment, maintenance, and depreciation costs. By making one trip around the field instead of three, well, you cut considerable on gasoline costs, too. Well, I got a team that don't take no gas at all. I guess you got a point there, partner. A Heston wind roar don't make any fertilizer either. With one machine instead of three, you cut your labor costs. Or if you're the total workforce, you free yourself and your tractor for other work on the farm. Or a greater acreage in hay. Now, another important item is, when it comes to saving money, is soil compaction. Now, with a Heston, there is up to 85% less compaction than with conventional haying methods. And this means that 85% more of the first growth stubble remains uncrushed, making second, third, and fourth cuttings come sooner. With less compaction, moisture is more easily absorbed and retained longer. Combined, the effects of reduced compaction can mean an extra cutting. You're lying to her, mister. You said you'd tell her how we'd get more milk. We ain't all got horses like the old man here. We want to know how that machine of yours is going to make the hay any better and how the hay is going to affect the milk. Take it easy, kid. The kid's right, mister. You've been making fun of the machines we got parked out front. Well, those machines cost us plenty of money. You better start proving fast how your machine would make better hay than the ones we got. Well, that's easy. A Heston wind rower makes a conditioned wind row in one round instead of three. That stands to reason it takes less time to cure. Yeah? So what? Tests show that a hay plant loses about 1% of its digestible protein every three days after its peak nutritional point is reached early in the bloom stage. Now, this is because plants produce food for later use. Cutting hay early means that the nutrients are still in the leaves. They're not in the roots or the crowns or the seeds. Iowa State University research indicates that an acre of alfalfa hay loses 1,391 pounds of digestible nutrients and 400 pounds of digestible protein as it goes from early to full bloom. And this early cut hay is more palatable. The cow's hay consumption will drop a half a pound a day for every day that the cutting was delayed. That's very interesting. Well, it certainly helps milk production, too. You know, the early hay, because it is rich in nutrients, causes the cow to produce more milk. 
Our cutting delay of only two weeks can cause a 25% drop in milk production. And a 25% increase in hot air. I got a windrower parked out front that'll do everything yours will do. How's the hay conditioner constructed? Well, uh, uh, you see, that's a Heston specialty. All models have a solid rubber roll and a fluted steel roll. The length, the diameter, and configuration of these rolls vary from one model to another. And this allows conditioning action to match the machine capacity and the method by which the cut crop is fed to the conditioner. Now, you adjust the roll pressure to suit the yield and type of hay that you're harvesting. And all auger and direct feed models are constructed to feed the crop directly into the conditioner. This prevents rocks and clods and trash from getting into the windrow. Hay cures perfectly because the Heston conditioner gently cracks the stems without mangling the leaves. Moisture gets out, but the oxidation of nutrients is kept to a minimum. You know, tests by the Dairy Department of Utah State University show that windrowing with a Heston windrower can add up to 23.4% dry weight to your hay crop. And what's better, most of this weight is in the leaves, which contain three-fourths of the nutrient in the average plant. What about the fellow with grain crops? Well, there's a Draper header model that switches from hay to grain simply by removing the conditioner. And there are direct feed models that give a choice of windrowing or leaving the hay in a swath to solve humidity problems. Now, the big auger header models are for crops such as sorghum sudan, native hay, and alfalfa. Who cares about milk? I'm a beef producer. Fine. Steers fed Hestonized hay in an experiment at the University of Tennessee gained 1.85 pounds per day. And steers fed poor quality conventional hay actually lost weight during the 71-day test. My machine's small and easy to maneuver. No need to worry about maneuvering, not with Heston's trim steering. It's just like reining a horse. Just let me show you one of the extras on the Heston wind roar. Watch it, mister. Well, I was just going to show you this forged double tie guard. Now, it allows plenty of freedom for the sickle, but practically never breaks. And it saves a lot of time during harvest when time is so important. Now, what I've been telling you is just part of the story, but you can get all the details from this little pamphlet. Mister, we got a nice, peaceful town here. We've been harvesting hay for them for quite a spell now. All of a sudden, you come through town complaining about how we do it. You see anything wrong with the way we're producing hay? Nah. How about you? I think it's just great. Nellie and John been pulling that mower for nigh on 13 years. I'm not about to switch to no newfangled contraption. Mister, this town ain't interested. You don't suppose I could interest you in a little friendly competition in that field just south of town? Is that a challenge? Sure is, partner. Darn. Now, you boys wouldn't chicken out, would you? I ain't letting nobody browbeat me. It's a challenge. All right. I'll meet you and your hay and equipment at high noon. Round of milk, bartender.
sure this is going to be one of my good days. Now, don't let him scare you, old man. We're through in this town if he makes us look bad. Thank <laughs> you. 